as some of you know, I have fallen down uh, a rush rabbit hole <laughs> in the last few weeks, right? With Getty Lee's re release of My Effing Life and going over to see him speak at that event. Uh, I've sort of, uh, well, not sort of, I have delved into uh, just garnering a lot of information about about Rush and Getty and Alex and, and Neil. And a friend of mine sent me an interview with Tom Powers on Q. And <clears throat> on that interview, in that interview, Getty shares a moment that he had with Neil in, in the weeks, months before Neil's death, when Neil knew that he was going to die. And he went back and he listened to their catalog of music spanning 40 years. And he took notes and he analyzed and he really listened to his work. And when he met with Getty, he shared something that choked up Getty in, in the interview was that, you know, I used to work so hard on these drum solos and, and I don't really feel like you and Alex ever noticed or, or said anything or, and Ooh, I'm going to get choked up just thinking about it. And, and Alex uh, had this moment of, well, I didn't think you needed to hear that. And for him, that, that was a moment, right? Who am I to say what someone else needs? Oof. And so for me, the beautiful underlying theme in that story is the invitation for us. Who in our life as educators, as parents, as coaches, as business owners, as leaders, who, one person that we could pull aside today or tomorrow and take a moment to share some reflection that indicates that we see them, that we notice their contribution and we appreciate their effort and work. I mean, goodness, what does that take? <laughs> Not very much. And yet, clearly, like my feeling was, when I heard that about Neil, I thought the same thing. I thought, wow, you know, of, of all the people that I would have thought wouldn't need recognition or wouldn't need that external validation, Neil would have been at the top of the list. But clearly I was wrong. He, he, he's a human being. Of course he requires or desires recognition. And so if Neil does, then we all do. It's part of the human experience. We love to feel like what we are contributing means something to other people and that other people see it. And, and what does it take for us to share that moment of recognition? Not a lot. And so the invitation is there for you. Who could I pull aside in the next 24, 48 hours and let them know that I see them, that I appreciate them, that I recognize them, that I value them, that I love them. I don't know. I can think of a few in my life right now. And not only think of them, but I will be reaching out because it takes nothing. And yet clearly it matters. And I don't want someone to get to their last weeks or months of life to have that moment of, of, of wondering, Jace, you never shared that you appreciated me, did you? Like, I would never want to have that conversation. And I'm sure that's why it chokes up Alex or Getty. Because it's like, oh man, really? I didn't tell you that? Brutal. So, yeah, something to consider. Your mindset matters. Oh my goodness. Big time. That is a choice. A choice to share your appreciation with others. So, uh, take it on, right? Take it on. And make a difference in someone's life. While you're doing that, take care of yourselves, share the love, be kind, and uh, we'll see you again uh, next week. Okay, bye everyone.